Have you ever lost your temper with your spouse and you said something that you really didn't mean? Or perhaps you were involved in an argument uh, with a family member or a friend and you know you said something that you really regretted and you you know once you had time to really ponder over and think over what you said you wished you could take it back let me tell you a story so was, there was this young boy who suffered from you know having bad temper so one day what his father did was that his father gave him a bag of nails and said to him that every time, he said, my son, every time you feel angry and you lose your temper or you say something out of anger, take a nail and hammer it into the fence. So obviously in the first day, the boy managed to hammer 37 nails into the fence. Now, as time passed and gradually, he managed to be able to control his temper and, and you know, keep his uh, temper and his anger in check. So obviously, as the weeks passed, less and less nails uh, would be hammered into the fence until one day um, he was able to control his anger and not hammer in a single nail into the fence. So he obviously goes to his father and he tells him he was really happy. He goes to his father, 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 I've managed to control my anger and I've not hammered a single nail into the fence father looks at him says well done now son for every day that you're able to hold and control that anger take a nail out every day so obviously again he started and days passed and you know ev every day it was a struggle for him but every day that he was able to control his anger and his temper he would take out a nail one by one the days passed and the weeks passed and finally the young boy managed to remove all the nails. So again, he was very pleased because the task that was given to him by his father, he was able to complete it. So he went to his father um, and said, Father, I've done this. Um, all the nails are out. The father took him by the hand and took him to the fence and said, Oh, son, you know, you've done well, but just look at the holes in the fence. That fence will never be the same again. You know, when you say things or do things in anger, they leave a scar with the other person, just like the scars that have been left on the fence. Now, how many times have we said something out of anger, out of frustration, you know, without really thinking about the other person without really considering their feelings or what impact it would have. You know, it's true what they say that, you know, physical scars will heal. They heal over time. But psychological scars and mental scars, you know, they could remain as scars forever. You know, so let us really, you know, yes, it's life and we get angry and we get into, you know, we get emotional. But let us take check of ourselves. You know, let us really consider what we're saying, or what we're about to say, the impact that it could have on the other person before we say it. Because once you say that awful word, awful sentence, you can't take that back. Once you've said it, that's it, it's done. You can't take it back. So really think about, you know, let, let, let's make this, you know, like our golden rule. You know, let's all think about what we're saying before we say things. Let's engage our heart and our mind before we engage our tongue. Because yes, the tongue may be the softest uh, muscle in the body, but it has the potential to cause huge damage. So let me leave you with that thought. Next time you think you're feeling angry, just take a breather stop for a moment and think about your reply the reply that you're about to give will it leave a scar with the other person and if it does just take a breather and think about and and really ponder over what your reply should be so let me leave you with that point and i shall see you soon take care assalamu alaikum